Hello and welcome my friend. Uh, today again I want to analyze for you the market. The pairs I'm going to enter in them and uh, all of them. So you're going to get an idea which pairs I'm going to enter in it and which opportunities they are there. So even you, you can do the, you get some ideas from our analysis. So by the way, the first pair we got is the Euro USD. As you see it, our analysis to it, we got here a zone, as you see it, that zone. And uh, we make the price is going to test it again, but not 100%. Maybe it's good from here to fall. We got the first target is here. Second one is here. The first target is it at 1.19. Second one is it at 1.17. And let me to show you in the RSI. As you see here in the RSI, we got a divergence. So our analysis to it, the, the RSI will go up and touch that line again. Then it's going to win down. That's it for the Euro USD. Second pair we got is British Pound. British pound we got here a zone as you see it that the highest place British pound reached to it. Our analysis to it go back to touch it again and it's going to fall down. First target we got it here at 131.36. Second one is it uh it said 127. I think everything is clear in the RSI here. We got here uh, a support. So our analysis to it, the price go up here to overbought. Then from there it will fall down. I think the picture is clear. The chart currency we got is the Aussie or Australian or US dollar and uh, as you see the same view to it as Euro USD and British Pound because they are correlated British Pound uh, and the Euro USD and uh, the Aussie they are correlated to each other so we got here a zone as you see it from all time here even if I move the one down here you're going to see it is an old zone. So our view to it, the price is going to touch it again, then it will fall down, or maybe it will not touch it, it will fall down directly. The first target is it here at zero, said uh, 75. Second one is it here, said at uh, 069. Chart one is it here at zero point sixty six. In the, the view of the RSI, we got here a trend line. It's getting broke. So our view to it to touch it again, then from there is going to fall down. I think that's it for the, the Aussie. The fourth currency we got is uh, Australian USD card. Our view to it is going to change the direction and go up because we got here a zone. It's an old zone, as you see it. It's been long here. It's been touched here. So our view to it from here to went up. The first target is it at one oh one twenty eight. Second one is it at one point thirty six. And as usual, you in the first target take fifty percent and move the stop loss to the entry 
Poland and leave the rest and always enter in Monday. In the RSI, as you see, we got a triangle here, the one. So our view to it, it will go back and touch it again. Then from here it will go up. I think everything is clear, my friend. The other currency we got is USD Japanese Yen. Is it is in an uh, uptrend. So our view to it, it will touch that uh, line of the channel. And from here it will go up. And the target is it here. 111.154 the analysis in the RSI also we are in an uptrend here so the analysis will touch it again then from here it will go up I think everything is clear the other currency or commodity is gold the gold is in an uptrend. So our view to it to come back to touch that zone here at 1774. Uh, 1, then from there it will go up till here till 2062. That our analysis to it in the RSI. As you see, we got here a support, and that the trend line is getting broke, and now the price is it in is in overbought, overbought. So our view to it, it will go down to touch that trend line. Then from here it will go up like that. I think everything is clear till now. So let's move to see um, uh, the other currency or the other analysis we got. We got New Zealand USD. New Zealand USD, we, our analysis to it is going to fall down. It will touch the target here. The first target we got is it here. Second one is it here. First target is at, um, it said 0,668. Second one at 0, 0 0.64. In the RSI, it's analyzed for you the RSI. We got a divergence here, as you see it. So our analysis to it, it will go back and touch that line. And from here it will go down. You always, when you enter, enter in Monday after that correlation happen. The other currency we got is uh, USD Swiss franc. We, uh, our analysis to it, it will touch that zone here again. That zone. It will touch it here. It touch it actually. Maybe it will not touch it again. So then it will go up like that. The first target we got at 0 0.92, 180. Second one is at 0 0.94, 620. The analysis in the RSI, same story. We got a divergence here, as you see it. So our analysis, it will touch that zone again, then from here it will go up. That's it, my friend, that uh, all the pairs we got, you choose one pair from all those ones and enter in it. Wait Monday, because in Monday it always happen uh, co correction against the, the trend where the market will take. Then in Tuesday you can enter and you need to wait in for a price action to happen for you to enter. A candle, then you, you enter from there. I think everything is too clear. So please support us by liking the video and share it 
with your friend and if you are not subscriber subscriber in our channel because uh, every week we will start making a weekly analysis for the market so see you in saturday or sunday bye for now my friend